As climates and circumstances change, species must either evolve or fall victim to any number of threats in their existence. Sadly, most are in danger of becoming extinct due to habitat destruction and trophy hunting. Science, genetic mutation, and one in a million chances continue to produce such beauties in small numbers. Here are the rarest animals you have never seen before. The king cheetah is a cheetah with a visible fur mutation. King cheetahs are not a unique species or subspecies of the cheetah. They are exactly like regular cheetahs except for their mutation in their fur patterns. Rather than small black dots all over their bodies, they have large dark splotches in irregular patterns. They also have three distinct black stripes going down their backs in vertical lines. King cheetahs are incredibly rare species. It is estimated that there are as few as 10 left in the wild. There are only about 30 to 50 in the entire world, and most of those are in protected parks and wildlife reservations. Cheetahs eat an average of 6.2 pounds of meat per day. They don't always feed on a regular schedule. The cats can go for several days without eating and even longer without drinking. So a tender black buck might fill them up for a while before they need to hunt again. They have oversized organs to help them reach such high speeds. Their hearts and lungs have greater capacities for pumping blood and delivering oxygen throughout their bodies. Frankly speaking, the biggest threat to cheetahs is you guys, okay, and I. Ever wondered what a bear with no hair would look like? Poor Dolores has lost her coat. She's a bear bear, no offense. The spectacled bear, the only bear native to South America, is under threat from loss of habitat and from poachers. But Dolores, who lives in Leipzig Zoo in Germany, has more immediate concerns. Her coat should normally be thickening up in preparation for winter's colder temperatures. But shockingly, Dolores and all the female spectacled bears at the zoo have lost their fur completely. Despite the hair loss, some itching, and perhaps a bit of self-consciousness, the bears are not showing any ill effects. Zookeepers have speculated that the fur loss might be a genetic defect or possibly stress-related, but cannot be certain and have asked zoos across the world for advice. Blue lobsters are rare. There really is no way to value a blue lobster. Most of them are donated to aquariums, although they have been seen on menus for $500 plus. Typically, lobsters caught off the Atlantic coast in North America tend to be an unattractive green-brown color. Once boiled, they turn orangey-pink. The two fishermen who caught two blue lobsters off the coast of Nova Scotia one after the other were destined for good fortune, according to fishing folklore. So just how rare are blue lobsters and what are your chances of catching one for dinner? According to the University of Maine Lobster Institute, the blue color is caused by an absence of a particular protein from a genetic defect. While the university has stated that only one blue lobster exists for every two million, Research director Dr. Robert Bayer admits that the statistic is only a guess. According to him, nobody really knows the real chances of this occurrence. Axolotls were named after Zoltal, the Aztec god of fire and lightning, who could take on the form of a salamander. Zolotl was also associated with dogs. ATL is the ancient Aztec word for water, so axolotl is sometimes translated as water dog. Though nearly extinct in the wild, axolotls do well in captivity. Because of their unique characteristics, they are common in both household fish tanks and research labs. In addition to being able to regrow body parts including their hearts, spines, and brains, axolotls can accept organ and limb transplanted from other axolotls without risk of rejection, a trait that makes them of interest for medical research. Most axolotls are black or molted brown, but there are also varieties with white skin and pink or red gills. A few feathery external gills on each side of the head provide the axolotl with oxygen and its signature look. Adult axolotls have lungs that rely primarily on these gills to breathe. Axolotls don't have legs when they hatch. They develop them a few weeks later. Hit the like button and we'll know to get you more of such amazing videos. Foxes are truly remarkable creatures. Master hunters, intelligent minds, and beautiful appearances are indeed a wonder of their nature. However, some are a bit more interesting than others. The opposite of albinism is melanism, which gives it an all-black coat. The fox is rare and difficult to spot out in the wilderness. Even more fascinating, rather than being completely black, this amazing animal's red fur shows through in some areas and gives it incredible coloring. You can only imagine how exciting this photographer was to see this. Weary of the photographer approaching, the melanistic cross fox keeps a safe distance. These foxes once dominated the landscape, but their numbers decreased drastically due to high demand for their fur. 
Approaching the fox cautiously, Sam Gabby is shocked to see this beauty out in the Canadian wilderness. Without a doubt, this has to be the rarest animal that this photographer has ever encountered. Moments like this are so unusual that you're thankful for modern technology. But seeing the beauty of this rare fox so close is genuinely a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Ever wondered if flying squids were real? Yes, believe me when I say flying squids really do exist. The Japanese flying squid is also known as Japanese common squid or Pacific flying squid. It is found in the North Pacific Ocean, East China Sea, and the Sea of Japan. One of the most interesting and fun facts about the Japanese flying squid is that males and females have different growth rates. This rare species uses the technique of jet propulsion and pressure for flying above the water surface. The cephalopods use the surface currents as guides for migration. In order to minimize the impact while entering the water after gliding above the water, Japanese flying squids fold their fins and tentacles back in. These water creatures are popular as food items across Japan. The rare Japanese flying squids cannot be said to be cute, though. To be honest, they look gross and slimy. Their tentacles look creepy. This rare creature is known to use ink from ink sacs in their bodies in order to protect themselves and warn others of danger. Japanese flying squids are dangerous. They use their tentacles and arms to attack humans if they come within their range. They also bite with their teeth, which can make you sick, so be careful. Well, it's a good thing some of these creatures are rare, but there's plenty of them on this list. This creepy creature is one weird animal. Its habitat ranges from northern India, Pakistan, and Afghanistan to Turkmenistan. The unusual animal, named Markor, lives anywhere from 2,000 to 11,800 feet in elevation. They typically live in scrub forests where they feed by reaching high branches while standing on their hind legs. It is a known fact that the males use their corkscrew horns to battle one another for mating rights. An average flock of this rare animal has nine animals composed of females and the young. However, these numbers can be as large as 30 to 100 during mating season. Go figure! Poaching for their unique horns and meat for trade is mostly to blame for the decreasing population of markhors. Currently listed as critically endangered, the Pakistani government has made the markhor the national animal and the mascot for their intelligence agency, Inter-Services Intelligence in hopes of spreading awareness and awe at the magnificent ancestor of the goat. Markor is a Persian word meaning snake eater or snake killer. In folklore, the animal is allegedly able to kill snakes with its spiral horns and then consume the serpents. There, after a markor has chewed its cud and spit it on the ground, the dried material is sought after by the local people, who believe it to have extract poisons from snake bites. Darwin's bark spider is the weaver of the largest known silk web. Since their conservation status is not listed by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, the exact number of Darwin's bark spiders is quite difficult to trace. These spiders, who also produce the toughest spider silk known, are believed to live in small groups by bodies of water. Males and females have somewhat similar looks but dissimilar sizes, with the female being considerably larger. Females possess a black body with white hairs near the abdomen and on the other appendages. In contrast, males have a reddish or brownish hue with a similar distribution of hair. This species mostly communicates by walking across the lines on their webs. Alongside other related members of their genus, the species creates a special web-weaving pattern to attract each other during the mating period. A Darwin's bark spider bite is a rare phenomenon and it contains an extremely low level of venom. Thus, they are not considered poisonous. As a species from the wild, this silk orb web creator does not make a great pet for humans. For the first time, pink katydids were recognized as a genetic mutants in scientific literature, as a condition compared to albinism. They have in fact every appearance of belonging to a category of colored forms similar to that of the albino mammals and birds and certain kinds of white flowering plants. All pink individuals hatch out of the eggs with pink eyes. Throughout the molting process, they retain this pink eye color with pink body coloration. However, all yellow and orange colored individuals hatch out of eggs with green body colors and green eyes. The body color changes from green to yellow or orange over successive molts, resulting in yellow to orange coloration as an adult. The green individuals retain the green eye color throughout the molting process and throughout their adult lifespan. We don't all love colors, but this is a countdown of rare creatures, so keep your mind open and check out 10 more wonders. The albino snake is a type that is born with a genetic abnormality known as albinism, a lack of pigmentation in the body and eyes. 
This leads to snakes that are white in color or lacking a particular coloration. Albinism also typically causes a snake's eyes to be solid red in color and may reduce the snake's eyesight. Albinism is common among corn snakes and Burmese pythons. Albino Burmese pythons are the most common and may even be bred for their unique coloration for sale to snake enthusiasts. They typically lack the darker brown pigmentation and instead appear white or yellow or very light brown, but with the same patterns in the colors. An albino snake otherwise retains all the usual behaviors and habits of non-albino specimens of their species. Brace yourselves for this. Each species of Dumbo octopus has the same feature that makes them so adorable, their ear-like fins. They use these fins to propel through the water and steer through currents. This strange animal is small compared to other octopods. Its average size is between 20 and 30 centimeters, slightly larger than an adult guinea pig. But scientists found one specimen as large as 1.8 meters. That is almost six whole feet of cuteness. They come in a variety of shapes and colors and have the ability to flush or camouflage themselves to their environment. Unlike most octopods, this exotic animal does not have an ink sac. They are also one of the deepest living octopuses, at depths of 400 to 4,800 meters below the ocean surface. Since they live that far, very little is known about the Dumbo octopus. But one thing is certain, we need to protect their ocean habitat so we can continue to learn and understand them. To visitors of the Peruvian Amazon, the boto, or pink river dolphin, is a rare and beautiful creature. In South American culture, however, it is considered a mythical figure and has been loved and loathed in equal measure. The pink river dolphin is different from the gray or tuxix river dolphin, which bear more resemblance to marine dolphins with their bottle noses and habits of leaping out of the water. As its name suggests, the pink river dolphin is mostly recognizable by its unique color, making it a huge attraction to explorers of the Peruvian Amazon. Although Amazon pink dolphins are famous for their hue, they weren't born this way. The dolphins were actually born gray and slowly turn pink as they age. The Amazon pink river dolphin is the largest and smartest of the five freshwater species. A full-grown dolphin can grow up to 9 feet long, weigh up to 400 pounds, and live for 30 years. Their diet is the most diverse among toothed whales, consisting of more than 53 species, including piranhas. They are part of the Indian peafowl species and can have small or large patches of white. Sometimes the middle of their tails is full of white feathers, while other times their bodies are all white. You can even find piebald peacocks with a white body and tail. While there are now more breeders than ever that specialize in peabald peacocks, the birds are still hard to come by. There is a growing demand for them, and it is hard for breeders to keep up with it. Furthermore, you cannot always determine just how much white will be on a peabald peacock, although there is a push to have white patches show up on specific areas of peacocks. There's a myth that peacocks and turkeys can crossbreed, and despite some Photoshop pictures, these are different species and therefore cannot actually breed. Piebald peacocks are distinct looking. They belong to Indian peacock species, which means they have large swooping tail feathers with blue and green patterns. There are many forms of pied peacocks, and it is very hard to tell just how many of them there are. Many birds under this umbrella were only bred recently. This wild animal that looks like a dangerous animal is a rare species. A golden tiger, sometimes called a golden tabby tiger or strawberry tiger, is one with a color variation caused by a recessive gene. All golden tabby tigers in captivity seem traceable to a white tiger called Bim, a white son of part white Amur tiger named Tony. Tony is considered a common ancestor of all white tigers in North America. Bim was a carrier of the wide band gene and transmitted this to some of his offspring. He was bred to his sister Sumida, giving rise to unstriped white tigers. Analysis of this extinct animal family tree shows that golden tigers are genetically normal orange-colored tigers with the addition of a recessive modified gene, probably the wideband gene. This same wideband gene also gives rise to unstriped white tigers. A white tiger that inherits two copies of the recessive wild band gene will be an unstriped white beauty. A normal orange tiger that inherits two copies of the recessive wide band gene will be a golden tabby. The wide band gene is carried independently of the white gene. Let's hear your thoughts about this enormous beauty. This is a medium sized bird with a large head and a short tail. This bird, like all its relatives, is specialized to catching insects midair using its long and broad bills. The bird has a homologous structure to a dinosaur, especially a theropod dinosaur. 
Like peacocks, one of the Amazonian royal flycatcher adaptations includes attracting their mates using their colorful crest. The long nest of the rare species dangles from branches, usually over water, making it difficult for the predators to reach it. The males defend the fight over territory or mating. The Amazonian royal flycatcher's lifespan is up to six years. Amazonian royal flycatchers are relatively small, cute birds. These rare creatures communicate through calls and colorful displays. They use this display to defend their territories from other bird species. The Amazonian royal flycatcher weighs around 0.018 to 0.025 pounds. They are usually overlooked but are not rare species. The birds can be spotted all across their habitats. The northern royal flycatcher has a buffy cinnamon tail and the Atlantic royal flycatcher has a bright cinnamon tail. The eight-year-old Rottweiler named Duke has brought to the center of Towton Somerset in October after his owner was no longer able to care for him. Duke's vitiligo has given him distinctive white markings on his fur, leading him to a wonderful and unique appearance. While these unique looks are caused by a lack of pigmentation in certain areas of his skin, they do not cause him any pain or discomfort. However, this big boy once suffered from skin and eye conditions that left him with sores on his legs, muzzle, and eyelids. These have been treated and he is now ready to find his forever home. Duke is a big, strong dog, but is also incredibly affectionate and loves curling up in your lap, if he can fit. Duke loves his walk, but is very strong on the leash, so he is being trained to help address this issue. He also has a strong interest in wildlife and farm animals, so he pulls even harder if he picks up a scent. Let's get a million likes for Big Duke. Parrots are some of the most colorful creatures in the world, but this golden macaw really takes the cake. These seemingly solid gold birds are complete rare animals and get their dazzling colors from the excessive production of a yellow pigmentation known as xanthrochromism. The mutation is also related to a lack of production of the red color, which is instead replaced with yellow. Xanthochromatic birds are known as lutinos and are incredibly sought after among avian enthusiasts. The incredible lutino golden macaws are a variant of the blue and gold macaw species, but instead of having a black beak, claws, and facial features, as well as the usual vibrant blue hue and gold feathers of the standard macaw, the Lutino has golden feathers and white features. One interesting fact is this rare animal's eyes are a pinkish gray instead of black, and its tongue is white. Because of their color and rarity, the pale birds are worth a significant sum of money. These unique animals are very rare in the wild, but breed well in captivity. Their numbers have somewhat stabilized in recent years, but because of their small population and limited range, they are listed as critically endangered species. Usually, a macaw costs around $1,000 to $2,000. In 2017, photos of the pig human baby went viral, creating a buzz across social media platforms. A video and pictures were circulated online widely with that of a pig gave birth to a baby that looked like a premature monkey. It would not have been unbelievable if someone had said this insane animal was an orphaned baby monkey. Some versions of the news claimed that the baby died soon after delivery. From Kakamenga to Moranga in Kenya, the place where the bizarre incident took place, varied from one post to another. Residents of Moranga were shocked after a pig delivered a creature that resembles a human being, read one post, added that it's resembled a baby boy. The truth behind the images and videos is that it is not a living creature, but a model made of rubber and silicone by the famous Italian artist Liara Macarunga. First of all, it's pronounced gooey duck. Contrary to what one might think, this creep is not related to a duck at all. Gooey duck, or geoduck, is a large clam with simple anatomy. There are two major parts to it, the siphon, or neck, which hangs out of the shell, and the mantle, also called the breast. This is a meaty part that sits inside the shell. Native to the Pacific Northwest and Western Canadian coast, gooey ducks anchor themselves into the ground with a small foot and remain in one spot for their entire lives. Several feet below the ground, the massive saltwater clam sucks in seawater, filtering for plankton and precious vitamins, and squirts out the excess through its impressive siphon. The gooey duck is the world's largest burrowing clam. Typical specimens weigh between two and three pounds. It's far too big to retreat into its shell like other mollusks. Instead, the massive neck promiscuously hangs outside in all its phallic glory. Gooey duck meat is clear and sweet. Seattle-based chef Ethan Stowell features gooey duck seasonally at Goldfinch and How to Cook a Wolf. Geoduck comes at a high price, as sought-after delicacy is sold in U.S. markets for $20 to $30 a pound. 
it could be difficult to catch a glimpse of giant pandas in the wild. Less than 2,000 are known to exist in the forest of southwest China. They are solitary creatures that tend to roam through remote regions. With the help of an infrared camera, experts were able to capture the image of a rare all-white panda. This is the first time that albinism was recorded among wildlife members of the species. As you can see, this rarest animal was completely lacking in usual black marks that characterize the species, and it also had red eyes, common sign of albinism. There are drawbacks to being an albino in the wild. The condition can cause sensitivities to sunlight. This makes albino animals susceptible to skin cancer and vision problems. It can also make it difficult for them to find food. Finally, animals with stark white fur are more visible to predators and a target of humans on the hunt for exotic animals. The albino panda, whose condition is caused by a genetic mutation, is incredibly rare, given how infrequently albinism occurs and that the animal belongs to an already vulnerable species. Which rare animal intrigued you? How do we protect these rare creatures? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comments section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take care of yourself.